So hello everyone, I'm Suzevile and this is the building planner that I was uh, making. I, this one is just for Rome, but I have I have successfully done it for every other culture. And basically this was a building planner for uh, so I could have all the buildings here on Excel and their bonuses and just quickly uh, replace one with the other to check which uh, bonuses would I uh, prefer on my provinces. This is great to plan out every province. I have a, a, the tele example here, which I'll show in uh, a few moments. Uh, first of all, what we do have is every building tier is over here. As you can see, the grain tier, everything that it gives, including edits, have... Uh, by the way, let me explain the top um, top line so the type of building is over here public order for all some some buildings have it uh, that bonus I I thought it would be better to include it public order food growth the wealth and the type of wealth the percentage to wealth the edits influence this is not auto calculate auto calculated you know you have to manually do it but it's kind of kind of really easy uh, the research rate and the culture spread, all of this is, is calculated. Recruitment capacity as well, auto calculated. And the construction costs as well, also auto calculated. Only the unit ship recruitment costs and the unit agent bonuses, uh, I cannot auto calc because it would have to be one for light units, one for heavy units. It's, it's just not that interesting. You can just uh, hover and see, oh, I'll have bonuses for units and ships, which is also good. Um, so, I talk about stats, let's say, oh, I have every page for every building and on every culture. Let's just show you, for example, the Hellenistic, it's kind of different because you do have some differences in terms of uh, some factions. For instance, the religious, religious tab is really major, like major Athens, major Epirus, major Macedon, every building is here. If there's some errata, just Please let me know so I can change it on the on the source for everyone. But major, major, and I'll have the minor for all of these factions. So let's say how th this all works. So let's say that I'm planning out to conquer all of Italy. You probably will if you are a Roman, right? Let's conquer all of Italy. So how do we plan out the buildings that we are going to produce there? Let's, I've already planned out everything over here at Italia uh, as an example, but let's say that I wanted to change something. Oh, actually, let me go first into the totals and stuff. So everything here is calculated. You can see the, the sum over there. Everything here is auto calculated And if you make any changes on any building, it will recalculate everything else. So for now we have minus 13 public order, minus 4 and 24 of growth. One thing that I don't, we don't have is the edits influence. So let's, let the, let's say that we want in Italy to have the bread and games edit going on. That will give us, you have to remember, that will give us plus 4 food and plus 4 public order, plus all of these bonuses. Let's add them over here. So we have plus 2 growth per turn. Let's give that. We have no bonuses to food, so that's the general plus 4. And in terms of public order, we have plus 6, plus 2, that's 8, plus the 4 basics, that's 12. So that gives us a manageable minus 1 public order. Uh, it also gives us 30% for cultural buildings. Let's include there, here. Uh, wealth for by all commerce buildings, let's include there. That's 3% plus 5%. Let's add it over here on the commerce one. And you can see the wealth changing as it happens. Okay. Now, let's see. I don't really want a delicatessen here. I don't really want. This is actually not the delicatessen. It's the uh, upgraded tier of the delicatessen. And it's a city center building. So let's say, okay, instead of the Forum Cupedines, which is the one that is represented there, I would want to see the Forum Buarium. Let's see what it changes right so just control C go into the province go into the, the slot control V everything is replaced and everything is auto calculated pretty cool huh so one thing that you do have to remember is which uh, which towns don't have uh, more than three slots uh, or 
uh, things that like uh, a province having a uh, port uh, so those uh, it's like when you're playing you say oh okay I'm gonna conquer this one this has a port and this has olive oil so let's just uh, start with those basic ones and then uh, proceed into the um, into planning out everything here also it's a good way t for you to okay I've, I've selected all these buildings how far can I go before public order goes really high and yeah basically you have everything that you might want over here if there is anything that I can add easily just let me know okay I have for every culture I'll post down below the link to the uh, Total War support forums where I will put this, not the support forums, the general forums. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next time. Goodbye.